Hi, I'm Janet Italia. I'm an integrative gut microbiome expert and a functional nutritionist. And today I'm here to talk to you about this most amazing connection between the gut microbiome and diabetes. The gut is primarily a small and large intestine and it also hosts an amazing universe or ecosystem within that which is known as a microbiome where you have a balance of the good and bad bacteria living together in sync. It really dictates a lot of functions in our body such as your immune regulation, your metabolism, your digestion, your mood, also managing your weight and a lot of other amazing functions. What's also really interesting to know about your gut is that we all have primarily we are actually made up of 10% cells which are human cells and all the other right 90% cells belong to fungi, bacteria, viruses in our body. Coming to diabetes we all already know that diabetes is an imbalance of the management of blood sugar and your insulin levels put together and obviously when you eat something your body isn't able to manage the kind of blood sugar levels as it should naturally be able to do and that kind of imbalance or disruption in the normal system leads to diabetes the connection between the gut microbiome and really your diabetes the most important factor here that to understand is really uh, about inflammation. Any condition in our body as we recognize today starts with inflammation and what is the base of inflammation is a lot of it is found that any disease in our body we believe through as a functional practitioner that you know starts from the gut or it starts from your lungs and it's very important to also understand that this dysbiosis of the good and bad bacteria in your gut where there is an excess of bad bacteria or pathogenic bacteria in your gut really leads to dysbiosis which causes extreme inflammation in the body. The most important part is that insulin and insulin resistance really finds its kind of connection with being, uh, you know, with seeing a balanced microbiome and also seeing that there are some signaling metabolic pathways that kind of get in place uh, which are disrupted and also as a matter of fact there is a compromise in the intestinal barrier function which leads to more of a correlation between the gut microbiome and insulin resistance leading to obviously diabetes a simple tip that i'd love to take for you all to you know take back home for brain reducing inflammation is to use half a teaspoon of haldi half a teaspoon of ginger one pinch of pepper and a uh, ghee or um, you can even take something like a coconut uh, virgin oil you know so cold pressed coconut virgin oil that you could take together and kind of boil that water in hot water put all these mixtures and then be able to have it to reduce inflammation the base of reducing inflammation is very important and if you do have sugar the empty calories sorry that it brings to the table it's important to understand that that leads to being the food for your bad or commensal bacteria in your gut which is like it increases candida which is yeast it increases the chances of you having an excess bacteria overgrowth, increase your blood sugar levels and they call this cyclical process which becomes very difficult to move out of. Sugar from outside exogenously taken in your diet uh, is already something which is not good for somebody who's diabetic. You want to work around the inflammation level and you really would like to work around the fact that a commonplace thing with taking care of your gut is also to do with calming down the nerves of your gut which can kind of lead to an immune activating response which can also be very tough for your body. Diabetics are uh, too dread to see that when they are very stressed out or when they are anxious or when they are upset, all of these emotional triggers are also big triggers to lead to, you know, uh, your blood sugar levels going up. It's not just the food, but it's even these environmental and other triggers. So my top tip for that is yoga, Tai Chi, any of these that will, you know, calm down the nerves and help you to manage your stress better which is a very important cross factor for your gut. I really hope that you're going to take back home something today and look back at the balance of your gut microbiome which is very important which you can do by increasing overall your fiber intake also by increasing the right kind of fibers like maybe your insoluble soluble fibers having oats having jivari having a lot of salad vegetables soups which will also be a great balance for your blood sugar levels one step again towards really understanding more about how these impact your health and really start your journey towards fighting diabetes and maintaining your gut health and getting used to a balance which you always wanted to have with your blood sugar levels. Thank you so much.